for this function, which is what we call a piecewise function, we're going to find a lot of different function values. Now, this is called a piecewise defined function because it is made up of pieces of different functions that when you put them all together ends up giving you a function. And so this can be tricky at first when you see it, but here's what you do. If I want to find f of negative 4, I'm putting an, a negative 4 where x is, and so I have to look at the right side to figure out well, where am I going to put that. So the first equation is only true for x is less than negative 3. The second one is true between negative 3 and 4. And the third one is true for numbers greater than 4. Which place does negative 4 fit in? Negative 4 is less than negative 3, so we're going to put a negative 4 in where x is for our first defined function up here. So negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. That's what f of negative 4 is. So the hard part should be just figuring out which which one to plug it into. Um, otherwise it should be pretty easy. So f of negative 3, well if it's less than negative 3 it's the first equation but negative 3 is not less than negative 3 it's actually equal to negative 3 which means we have to put it into this middle one where we have this equal to symbol meaning that negative 3 is equal to negative 3 so it fits into this spot. So if we plug in an x into the second equation, there's not an x, which means that f of negative 3 is simply 7. What happens in this middle equation is no matter what we plug in between negative 3 and 4, and even including negative 3 and 4, we're going to get 7. And so actually, if we look, we're finding f of 0, which 0 is between negative 3 and 4, so that's 7. And then we're supposed to do f of positive 4. And again, it's not greater than 4, it's less than or equal to 4. So f of 4 is also 7. And then our last one, f of 6. So 6 is greater than 4, so we put it into this function. 6 cubed is the same thing as 6 times 6 times 6, and that may be one you want to get your calculator out for. I know that, I think I know what it is, but I'm going to check just to make sure. And it's 216. So that's what f of 6 is. So you just have to figure out, based on what they want you to plug in, which of these it's going to fit into. Um, and think of it like a number line in some ways, that the values that are important are the ones they're listing here, negative 3 and positive 4. And so the first equation, we're talking about any number that's at negative 3, not actually negative 3, but anything that's less than negative 3. Um, the, the middle equation is saying anything that is equal to negative 3 all the way up to equal to 4. And then last, our last equation is saying what's equal to 4 and then greater. Not equal to 4. Anything greater than 4. Okay, and so you just have to figure out where do each of these numbers fall in that number line.